Hi, I'm Jamie Ivey, the author of the Moon Guide to Provence, and I'm making a series of little films about the village of Lormoran and the things you can do in and around Lormoran. One thing I really feel in the, the Lubron is that people often miss out on the wonderful walks that are, that are bound in the Lubron Hills. So we've walked from Lormoran, and we're now in between Lormoran and the village of Ux. And we're going to follow this little river. This is the Eggbrunn River, and we're going to follow it all the way to Bux. And the great thing when you're walking in the Lubron is that there is always, or should always be if you plan your walks carefully, a restaurant at the end. So what you can do is you can depart even in the middle of summer at say uh, nine o'clock in the morning and you can take a two hour walk from Lormoran when it's not too hot all the way up into these hills following the river. It's absolutely magical and you can have a lovely lunch there, Provencal food, and then you can either walk back or you can get a taxi back. You can do the same thing in the evening. You could walk up from say six o'clock and get there at eight o'clock, have a lovely evening meal up there. And you'll see later just how beautiful it is. So it's a, it's a two hour walk. It's all completely beautiful like this. You might see wild boar on the way. As you get nearer Books, you get to see, um, well, you, if you're lucky, you'll get to see some of the amazing wildlife here. There are um, uh, four Egyptian vultures that live up near Books. They migrate from the Sahara every February. There are Bonelli eagles, eagle owls. So there's all sorts of wonderful wildlife out here. There's the, down by the river, you'll see on the trees, you might see anyway, the marking of beaver claws. And the Lubron has the largest beaver in Europe that lives in these hills. So what I really want to emphasize is well worth, even in the summer, is getting out into this magnificent environment and taking a great walk and rewarding yourself at the end with a meal, a glass of rosé. What could be better? If you have a dog, then it makes the walk even more enjoyable. And this is our little dog, Rockstar, who won't come near me for nothing. Rockstar! Hey! Yes! Yes! Come on, let's go to Books. We'll see you all there in an hour and a bit. So that's taken about two hours to get here from Lauren with the dog. Johnny, my cameraman, has probably had a nice lunch, whereas I've been going up the up the hills of the Louvre to get here. I really wanted to come here because I really wanted to share this place with you. For me, it's one of my favourite places in the, the whole of the Louvre. You'll see we're surrounded by magnificent cliffs. We're in essentially what, what it, essentially a hiker's lodge. So there are all sorts of walks which leave here going to the northern Lubron, to the southern Lubron, and it's just a wonderful place to arrive at. There's a restaurant which serves typical Provencal food, so you can walk here for lunch, and then you can have a big, big hearty lunch, and walk back if you wanted to walk back to Lormoran, or you can get a taxi back. The same in the evening. It's worth mentioning as well that they have a, a little bouvet type place where you can just have a sandwich and a drink, and the swimming pool here. The swimming pool here is a marvel. I mentioned you saw me earlier by the Eggburn River, so I've just followed that all the way here. And that Eggburn River feeds into the swimming pool here, and they, they fill the swimming pool with the waters from the river. Now, if you jump into the, egg, into the swimming pool here in May when it's first filled up, it is so cold. Don't do it if you've got a bad heart, because it can really shock you. But in the middle of the summer, it's a joy to get into. It's a beautiful pool filled with fresh water. I cannot recommend highly enough visiting the Auberge de Segar. And I should, all, should also just mention, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it, but up there, it's just over there, Gianni, is the Fort de Bux. Now, the Fort de Bux is a Roman fort. And you can walk up from the Auberge. It takes about half an hour to get up that hill to the Roman fort. And you can see the old battlements. And it's a fantastic place to visit. Although, if you suffer from vertigo, it can be a bit worrying. Don't take small children or go if, you, if, you're, if you're scared of heights. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this place. As I say, it's one of my favorite places in Provence. The bedrooms here are very simple. As I said, it's a hiker's lodge, but some of them have so much character. They're built into the cliff face. So you'll see there's a bedroom with a massive rock jutting out into the room, which is great fun to stay in. There's also, I think there's a dormitory with about 12 beds. They're wonderfully cool because they were built from rock. 
they really are in contrast to the hotel that we saw earlier, the Fontenille. Here we're just in basic accommodation, but in such a beautiful, beautiful place that it's a, it's a great place to stay.